Right folks, as you can see, we're packed and ready to go. 9.50am, on schedule. You know that we've got a schedule, but you know, we've been up for a few hours, so you, want to, you don't want to be staying here all day. Look at that, one last view of that. Fantastic, eh? Need to get Stuart and Silver Fox out here. You can walk even for an overnighter. You can walk out here and then back, but I, I would rather, you know, I think it's probably worth better doing two nights here. Yeah, the tractor. I thought it was a train actually. <laughs> See, there's a train track. There's a tractor. Right. That's your whack. I'll take you back to the chaps. Some lamb in distress, eh? I lost. There's the sign there. I think it's straight on. See where the sign is? Yeah. I think it's that way. What do you think? Ah, uh, we'll go that way, mate. That's where the signpost is, so we'll stick there. And we're leaving the chapel. We camped just back a wee bit, literally about a minute and a half's walk. That's where that pitch was, just before the chapel, if you're looking to do this walk. That pitch was just before the chapel. You can't, you can't mistake it. Right through a gate and you're there. A great pitch spot, a lot of, a lot of manure, a lot of, a lot of whoopsies, a lot of animal whoopsies there, but you know, quite flat and the ground was okay and a fantastic view so three out of four ain't bad. Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors. That's not electrified. Aye. <laughs> it is electrified. Is it? No, it's no look at it. You can't you're trying to kill people, <laughs> give people heart attacks. Right, Mark, on you go. Action shot. Up that, that way, folks. There's a the chapel. So, from there to here. Ah, it's clouded over a wee bit, thanks. Thanks for that. I'm sweating like, sweating like pigs here. I've had enough of the heat wave. I've turned these room again. You can see my nice sweaty face. Aye, I've had enough. To be honest, I've had enough of the heat wave. You know, there's no... I'm not a fan of the heat, as I have said uh, several times. I'm not a fan of the heat for hiking and doing summit camps. It's murder, to be honest. You know, it's hard enough with it. 80 degrees heat. It's nice if you're going to relax, you know. Relax at the beach or nice wee easy stroll. You can't set up your tent somewhere. That's a different thing, but doing backpacking trips and summit camps in this heat. No for me saying that I've done it, <laughs> that's what I've been doing the last five, six weeks. You know, I would still do it, but I prefer the, prefer the cooler weather. There's the dolly, there's Dolly's pal, Dolly the sheep. I think you don't use a selfie stick anymore, Eddie. That's got a sore leg. I've still got one sometimes, no. but no, I just use this. That would be another thing to carry, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got, yeah. I've got mine on my rocks in there, I've never seen that before. Oh, there you go. There's a nice... That's a lovely view, isn't it? It's a lovely view. I don't think this walkway is very popular. Certainly going with YouTube, there's very, very little. I think there's a couple of two-minute clips on it. And that's it, right. I think we go through this gate. Wait a minute, no, we go there. 
That's it, right. As you can see, pointing in that direction. Lovely jubbly. Right, this is for Andy Wardle. A very keen historian, Andy. That's the original stone that the Excalibur was in. So, that's the King Arthur came here and managed to pull the stone, the sword out the stone. And that's why he became the king. That, this is the actual place. The Arthurian legend, Excalibur. That's that. Uh, there you go, Andy. That's the actual stone. We came from up there, down here, and up here. The signpost, we we're just saying, the signpost is, is good, so it's so far it'd be difficult to to get lost. To be honest, I don't, I don't think you have any you have any problems so far. That was a wee climb. Just a wee warm up there. That might be the <laughs> climb for the trip. I think there might be another one. It's not much of a climb, but it certainly warms you up. Up a wee bit more, and that's it. I think this is nearly enough the top. Onwards and upwards. Or upwards and onwards. Heading back down, back down towards the sea. Great stuff. We've got a breeze here as well. Nice, very nice. I've not, we've not had any midges actually. Well, I should maybe shouldn't have mentioned it, but so far I've not been bothered with any midges. The clegs have been, with a few clegs and marks getting. Bothered with the flies. Ah, looks like we're, we're spinning round. Right, okay. I thought we were going to head that direction, but uh, well, maybe we will swing round again. But we're heading that way. Right. It's a 30, I think it's a 33 mile route. Although you, you always cover more, you know, just taking wee detours and looking at things and all that, you know, you always end up covering a, a good few miles extra, I would say. So 33, maybe we'll walk closer to 30, I don't know, 36, 37 miles, I would guess. I'll let you dwell on that. Beautiful Scotland. Come to Scotland. Life is like a butterfly. Lily, lily, lily. And plenty of butterflies about. Ah, uh, we're no butterfly campers. Eh, that's what you call fair weather campers. Butterfly campers. That's no us. <laughs> it's getting steep down now. That's uh, looks like we're heading into civilization. I and uh Mr Hill did say I think there's a bit of road walking to do today so uh, it's unfortunate. It has to be done. Well we might get we might get a shop then if we're walking along roads there might be might be able to stop in for some tidbits or whatever. Scooby snack. 
Heading into the dark forest here. Right. Scary things lurking about in here. Women of women women witches to lure you into evil things. We wish. <laughs> ah, nice and cool. I'll just let you hear the bird song for a a few seconds, eh? It's not down that way. Couple of kayaks over there. Good stuff, eh? Island life. Island life. Right, down there. To there. As I, as I said already. It's very well signposted, but I'll just, I'll keep shooting this way. It's just a wee, try to do a wee guide, because there's nothing on YouTube. So that's my idea. If it's a wee bit repetitive, sorry, but it's to try and help people. Community Orchard, all welcome. Is the moo moo's relaxing? We've been walking over a lot of these these uh, wooden planks, so they've certainly done done a lot of work on the on the path. Or a good bit of, of work. That's good. Good to see. Right, we're heading out of that section. I've got a cleg in my leg, feel it nipping. Ah, somebody's getting shot, there you go. I'm shooting wild campers now. Ah, straight over. See the signpost. Straight across. There you go, they missed the first time. Get them the second time. Right. Coming over that direction. Flies are going absolute mad. It's not the clegs, just flies, bog standard flies. Have a look. That'll put you off. I'll put some people off, but that's just it's a heat it's a heat wave. Not usually as bad as this. Da 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 Ah, fields of barley. Dee -dee 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 -dee. That was Sting's song. Although I remember the Eva Cassidy version better than the Sting version. Da -da -da -da. So we're back towards the sea, hopefully. I could actually feel like a wee dip in the sea, to be honest. Just to get the sweat off. There you go, George. Uncle George. The windsock. I think that's mean. that means it's safe for you to fly your paraglider. We're all waiting. We're all waiting to see you. Bring it to a meet. And we'll have a go. We'll all have a go at the paraglider. <laughs> Nobody knows anything about it. We'll not be going up a big hill, put it that way. But we can have a wee go. Here's Aaron, always in the background so far, beautiful. Another fantastic island. That's the great thing about Scotland, folks. You know, you've got the, you've obviously got tons of places in the mainland. That's before you even talk about the, the, the isles, the isles, you know. I mean, people talk about sky, but there's, there's so many, you know, there's a lot of islands, I think there's, well, I think it's over 600 islands, but obviously there's a few main ones and 
a lot of them are going to be uninhabitable and you know <laughs> no want to go there but uh, a lot of isles a lot of islands in Scotland fantastic place for wild camping nice greens eh greens and light greens lovely jubbly golf course please be aware of flying golf balls Walkers use this path at their own risk. So, on with the hill. we might get hit with a couple of boys here. Some golfers' boys. We need to be careful. Yeah, Mr. Hill's got the right idea. The old stealth, the old stealth hike. Let's try and be quiet. There you go. Came down for up there. There's a golf course there. And we're in that way. We're gonna have a wee 15, 20 minutes at, at, at the beach, a wee a wee a wee water break, a wee have a scooby snack or two at the beach. A 20 minutes, a wee 20 minute break. Nice place to have a rest. Right, over there. That's the chosen bit. They came to the end, the real deal, and it was the end of the day, so you wouldn't carry on your family, it was just about life or death situation. And that. Right folks, we break there for about half an hour. We bought a juice, a packet of crisps, I took some, we got the big camera out for a bit. The only reason I got the camera on is to record that sound really. To be honest, I like that. I just wanted to get that sound. The dry seaweed. So we're going to lose that. Well, we're heading away from that view. We might be heading near a road or on a road. Yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as we're on the, as long as we're heading the right way. I'll get. I'll do a Indiana Jones. John Connery. Sean Connery! Sean Connery! Ah, they don't like Sean Connery! That's where we sat down. We were walking along the beach. We thought we were heading that way. But no, check the map.
that looks like a signpost. So we're heading up there. I'm sure it's up that way. Just to let you know. In case you just walk along the beach and miss the turnover point. There it is. I'm trying to avoid them, but they seem to be walking right in front of us. Aye, they're big animals. Don't want them charging you. That one's walking away. I don't like to look at that brown one. It's quite an ugly one. <laughs> it's an ugly one. Only joking, mate. Only joking. That's it. We made it. We made it, Aussie. That's the most dangerous animal. Well, the most dangerous animal is a person, as a human being, but that's the most dangerous animal we've got. <laughs> we don't have wolves and bears and coyotes and Dangerous snakes and spiders like America. There's a young one. Ah, oh, nice. Lovely jubbly. Yes. <laughs> oh, fresh water. I wouldn't mind some of that. Can I get some? Can I get some water? I don't know, Anson. I think I'll leave it. No. No. Right, not this way. There's that farm for reference, for our guidance, so you know where to... Oh! That was a bit of a racket. That sounded like Stuart there. Right, I didn't last very long, the road section, or that road section. Five minutes. We're back on the... We're back on the path. The real path. There's a wee place in there. Still walking along this enclosed path, you know. A path that's, uh, you know, shut in by shut in by trees, you know. We're thinking of hiking back to Rothsey for supplies and then hiking back back on the path again. Obviously that's going to add distance and time but uh, it's probably worth it. Get some uh, I'm, already, I'm okay for juice and food really but Mark's running low in water and juice. We're out of that section. And this way. Ah, we breeze again. Good. From there, folks. Up the way. Heading up, and the flies are gathering. Right, right in my eye. Right in me eye. <laughs> That's where we we started. I think you can see in the distance. Uh, just at the end. That lump of land, just at the point, I think. Near enough there. I might have been, uh, well, a wee bit past there. Yesterday, in fact, it probably was. And we walked our way around and round. And then up. And I was thinking... We're, we're getting some height here. We're, we're certainly slowly but surely doing some height. And there you go. There's a cairn. I thought, I we're doing a wee bit of height here. So not too bad. Not too bad.
We had another 20, 25 minute break and we're heading here. You swing round down for this path. We'll take a wee detour into Rossi as I've already said and resupply. <laughs> 